Hello everybody, we're in town now. I'm with herself, um, and we are about to go into Pierce or Charlie's to get something pierced. I actually don't, I haven't even decided what I'm getting to yet. So this should be interesting. Um, where we're going into our usual spot. Our piercer has a guest spot. She's back for a while, so here we go. Looks like I'm getting, can you this please? I'm getting a small kind of constellation of sparkly in here, and then I'm getting a hoop to replace this one. So we're going for, where is it? Just one of these tiny little ones, and then. Let me check the price. Yeah, a sparkly hoop. One of those bad boys in the back, a black sparkly hoop. I'm excited. And uh, what are you getting, Jeanette? Um, I'm getting a conch for me. Okay. <laughs> and a chain for my hair. So you're cha just changing the piercing um, then? Yes. Oh, you're not getting another piercing? Well, I get one piercing yeah. and um, a different jewelry. Oh, okay. So same as me, kind of. Like, not the same piercings, but you're just changing one and then... Yeah. For now. For now. Yeah, I'm excited. Saturday. Oh, maybe we won't get a spot. It's a wild Saturday morning here. Oh no. Okay, I think we'll get one. Okay. We are going grocery shopping. We're trying to keep the little man awake while we do so. And then we're gonna go get some secondhand clothes. It's a real wild Saturday over here. My nose is freezing. But I am going to stand later. hope so hi everyone we are back um, now from shopping and we have to go and get some uh, secondhand clothes for Brannock we always try and get secondhand clothes for him because he grows out of them so much and especially now that he's walking he's you know gonna go through things <laughs> um, a lot of like knees getting put up and you know things are generally not lasting so well so secondhand clothes just for us is like a really sustainable way in general of doing it I did do a food shop. This is kind of like a general food shop. Um, I did a bit of a meal plan for the next week using a lot of stuff that we have in our freezer um, and things that we already had to kind of like keep costs down because the price of food has gone so high here um, in comparison to what it was before. I know a lot of people say, Yay. yes, that Irish food, like our groceries are much cheaper, but like there's a the little man. You can see a tiny little head sticking over his baby jail. There he is. Um, the, uh, like for example, courgettes, like two courgettes used to be 79 cent. They're now 119. So it's a 50% increase. So that's a lot. Like, so we're finding that it's a, a little bit to a lot more expensive um, to shop at the moment. So we're trying to use up what we have in the freezer. I am a big proponent of uh, using like getting um, things that are on discount and putting them in the freezer. And I just want to kind of give a disclaimer here. I understand that people, I'm not saying this is what I think people should be buying. This is what we buy. These are the foods that suit us and that we're happy eating. Oh, Smishy, come in. Come on in, Smishy. You wanna come up, buddy? Come on, Smishy. Come on, 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 is that Brannock? Yeah, little smushy. Is that Brannock? Who's one now? Are you one? Yeah? You're one and nearly a month? That's crazy. Yeah? You're actually in the spice cabinet now. Hey, buddy. Okay, do you want to go on the floor and Mama will do this? You want to wander around? Please don't eat anything that you shouldn't. Are you saying hello to smushy? This could be a disaster, so. Right, I'm just gonna go and no take your order. We love these crisps, and these are Bunny Bites from Tesco. They are 99 calories per bag. They just make an easy, low calorie snack when I like a more salty, generally, more on the saltier snack side. Um, but sometimes 
I like sweet as well. So I also got lentil curls. I basically ate these the entire way through my weight loss and I continued to eat them. We picked up some spaghetti, um, some whole wheat uh, in Borelli, Barilla um, spaghetti. I personally do not love spaghetti. I hardly ever eat um, pasta. So that's really more for Vincent, but um, that's just that. I got the Rude Health Chilled Almond um, with calcium. I'm currently trying out different Rude Health uh, almond milks. My favorite almond milk at the moment is this one, the Rude Health um, Barista Almond. And then I'm gonna try this one because it's got added calcium. Um, so I'm gonna just give that a go as well. I really like the Rude Health. It's very like clean. And I also hate that word. And then Vincent's favorite milk is the uh, Tesco soy milk, the sweetened one. He likes the sweetened one. So he, we have eight of those and one of these for me, which is probably nearly the same price. And then I have another bag of stuff, some cat treats for the kitty cats. Oh, I got some tempeh. Um, I do recipe development as part of my job um, for different companies. Um, Sorry, I'm just watching what's happening. So I'm gonna be doing a tempeh recipe uh, because I love tempeh. Then I got loads of lettuce. Um, I got some rocket, which is my favorite type of lettuce. Got some romaine hearts. And I also got, there's another one somewhere. Um, I'm trying to eat as many different types of leaves and try to get as many much of a variety of different foods into me. Now, onto the process things. If these offend you, please continue on. I got the Epic Mature, the Violife Epic Mature, which is this is so good. And then the um, vegan feta from Violife as well. I am going out. I'll be out of the house Monday and Tuesday for lunch. Damn, I forgot to get the tofu. I have to get that somewhere. Um, so I need, um, I want to bring salads with me because I don't want to be eating out for money, nor calories, nor knowing what's in something. Um, and then we got some vegan ham. Um, and that is all of the like, um, vegan subs except for yogurt that we got and um, I got the violet cream cheese as well and um, we like that then I got a butternut squash because what are you doing buddy you can't go out chicken you can't. yeah we have a look do you want to say hello so we got a butternut squash plus we got some strawberries as well those strawberries are for somebody who likes strawberries we got blueberries. Yeah, you love some bloobs, don't you? I'm gonna keep that open so you don't smack your face on it. We got baby plum tomatoes for mama's salad. Yeah, oh, I'm so excited for that salad. Uh, basil, again, for my salad to take away. Um, two courgettes at 50% more expensive than they used to be. We got some, oh, I got the crunchy salad as well um, because it has darker leaves in it as well. Um, honestly, I can't be arsed trying to wash the lettuce, so I always get like pre Oh, okay. I got limes. Um, we seem to have limes kind of everywhere in the bottom of the thing. We got twin packs of peppers because they were what was cheapest. And we try and go for what's cheapest as well. I'm so afraid of him hitting his head on this. Um, more limes. Mama likes a lime. Could you leave that open? Two packets of bananas. We go through a lot of bananas in this house. Um, between himself, his papa, me, I. You wanna go have a walk again? Go find, go find Smashy. You wanna play in your cabinet? And I love bananas as well. And then I got some baby potatoes as well, which is baby potatoes, either steamed or cut up and seasoned and put in the air fryer are probably our favorite at the moment, our favorite carbohydrate to have with um, with dinner. Okay, I'm missing another bag. And I got Branox formula, um, some chocolate chips for Vincent. I got boil in the bag basmati rice. I know, terrible. Um, boil in the bag rice helps me with portion control and quick and easy, don't even think about it. It goes on the pan or goes in the pot and I don't have to think about it and 10 minutes later it's done. And um, I got some of uh, Branox food. Oh, I did pick up another pasta 
the um, Fresini. I've actually never seen this type. It looks like almost like a flat linguine, like a thicker linguine. Linguine is my favorite type of pasta. I picked this one up in case I wanted something with pasta over the next week or so, and we were totally out of pasta. We had none at all. And sometimes we give it to Brannock, although he's not that, not that keen on it. Um, I got some sliced olives for my salads. Uh, these are 75 cent in Tesco, which is excellent value. And then I got vegan yogurt. So my favorite is the high protein, the vegan Greek um, style one, which I think is made from soy. Yeah, it's soy based. And then we got, this is Vincent's favorite, the, just the plain one. And then I also love the cherry because cherry flavored anything is, that's my bomb. And then the last thing that we got, we also got nappies, so we, the last thing we got is this Wicked Garlic and Herb Flavoured Nooch Seasoning, so nutritional yeast. Um, the only thing that's in, so this is really like 10 calories per three grams. Spray it, sprinkle it over pizza, pasta, tray bakes, chips, and flavoured savoury dishes. So I'm excited to try that. I'm gonna smell it actually. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, what does it remind me of? Oh, wow, it reminds me of something. Wow, that's weird. Can you hear that? So, did you hear Smushy speak there, um, the cat? Brannock now mimics him by doing exactly the same and that's what Brannock says every time he sees him and it's very cute. Good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog. It's nice and blue here this morning. Oh, is that a bit better? That's a bit better. A bit yellow, but that's fine. Um, good morning. It is Monday the 13th of February and this week, so I know this vlog has been a bit sporadic. I was supposed to go into town on Saturday after I did the grocery haul with you guys um, and plans got cancelled and I ended up staying at home all day and um, I just um, minded my little man and then Vincent went out for the night so it was it's really hard to vlog when it's just the two of us so today is kind of an unusual day um, in terms of normally Monday to Wednesday and or Thursday I will work full time um, and there's occasion my mum is um, mine's Brannock for us but today she has an appointment so I am going to actually go with her over to where her appointment is and I'm going to mind him and then she's going to take over um, and so it's a bit like it's not like a full proper day so it's nine o'clock now we're about to hit the road shortly but what I'm going to do is take a salad with me so today this week is actually a reset week for me so I do this every so often over the last eight months of maintenance is where I will kind of just go back to what I ate for weight loss and um, for about a week or 10 days or something like that and um, just to kind of reset because I know I've had a couple of events and I know the week after next I'm going to have um, family over so Vincent's family will be coming over and spending five nights with us so there'll be a lot of eating out so I just want to be really like this is kind of how I do it I kind of cycle through so like depending on how many things I have, how many events, how many family things, how much is going on. So what I'll do this week and probably part of next week. Do I have anything? I have nothing else planned this week. No, so like over to next weekend and into next week. Yeah, so probably for today is Monday. So from Monday till Thursday next week, I will eat as I ate on weight loss. Um, at the moment I'm around like 180, 148 pounds, um, 149 pounds, something around that. So I'm not overly concerned, but this is just kind of an easy manageable way that I found that I can like for five days, I'll probably eat like a fair bit and then see what happens. I'm not really counting calories. I'm just kind of like going back to like eating uh, smaller portions, um, making sure that I'm eating, you know, like that I'm walking every day, drinking my water and just kind of being conscious of things. Like I won't have like, you know, an extra something that I would normally have, or I won't have like, you know, a won't snack as much um, throughout the day. I'll see, try and see how I am hunger wise, but um, and I won't eat out. And um, that's kind of the main thing I'm gonna try and stick to this week eating uh, in, like preparing every single meal that I have. However, I do have three days now this week. So Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, these three days, I'm out of the house. 
every day um, and none of them are for me they're all things for my mom and um, it's just a way that we work things and um, so I will bring her to wherever it is as I said I'll mind Brannock when she's in her appointment and then she'll take over and she'll like, kind of have like a wander around wherever she is take him to the park and things like that and I'll sit in a coffee shop and get some work done and then we'll come home so that's the plan so for these three days I'm going to be making my salad that I normally and um, that I made during weight loss and I'm going to bring that with me every single day so I'm about to go make that salad now and I thought I would show you how I make it I think I've made it on a vlog before but I'll just I know definitely have a short on it but I'll show you how I make it and what I put into it now and then we're going to take that with us and um, so I have that and I'll probably take like an apple and maybe a packet of the crisps that I got and also this really helps to save money because if I was to eat out now for the next three meals I wouldn't like three lunches I wouldn't know what my calories are going to be or like what like give or take what they are I would have no idea and I would have no idea um like the price of things so you know like it's it's quite hard to find something in Dublin like my salad in Sprout is 10.95 um and sometimes I get changes to it so it, it can like one day it cost me 17.95 I was like an extortionate amount of money for lunch so if I did that for three days give or take it would be nearly 50 60 euro so I don't want to spend that kind of money so I could spend on clothes instead so I'm gonna go make my salad now and then hit the road because we're kind of running a bit late if I kind of want another coffee Ooh, blue light this is the detritus that you guys don't see ha 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 behind the scenes right let's go do this and just before I go I thought I would show you a really quick OOTD I am intending to get another mirror that's closer to the window so we don't have light issues but actually it looks pretty okay today so I'm wearing this um rose mini dress tomorrow is Valentine's Day so I thought I would do like a Valentine's themed dress for the week and um, this is from AX Paris I think via ASOS my belt is old from Stradivarius or Nasty Gal it's one of those like you can get them pretty much everywhere and um, I'm wearing my ASOS um, lace up boots the high neck ones and my necklace I cannot remember for the life of me where this is from I'm really sorry it's not Mad Mary Metal it's somewhere else I literally googled um, do you know where has one actually is um, uh, Hellfire 666 I'll link that one down below they have a brand new one um, my rings are all Doyle design I just got my nails done on Friday which I'm kind of obsessed with um, what else am I wearing um, my lipstick is Wet n Wild um, Rebel Rose with the matching lip liner and my eyeshadow today kind of went for like a pinky kind of purpley brown a uh, purpley um, one and that is uh, the Muse palette the Vive Muse palette and then oh my bag is Manier de Bois um, this was my Christmas present from Vincent and I am obsessed with it it is vegan leather I love Manier de Bois um, I will be buying like more of their stuff the quality of this is unbelievable like for vegan leather if i don't know if any of you ever buy vegan leather handbags they can be a bit you know a bit funky but this one is really like really fab and um it was pretty decent price um it was decent so and it carries my entire office in it like my wallet my wallet and then my laptop and my notebooks uh, i have like four notebooks with me at all times where i have to go home really late so for the salad I have um, half a pack of this cauldron marinated tofu going in this is just the original one there is also a I'm just going to lower the radio there's also a hoisin one but I prefer the this one um, and then I'm going to do half a cucumber ha a, a whole red pepper some cherry tomatoes some of this Greek white um, and some sliced olives which look like they might be gone off but I have more basil excuse the stage of the rest of the place and that's everything and some chili um, salt and pepper and then I use the Italian herbs and I'll also use these garlic granules salt and pepper and that's it that's everything Hi everyone, it's Carla from the future. I just realized as I was editing this that I did not finish off this vlog. I think I've been a little bit overwhelmed in the 
amount of footage that I have and where one vlog ends and one picks up and I think that this is something that I will learn as I go on and start to plan it a bit more as opposed to just ad hoc doing it. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog thus far and today in keeping up with the tradition of my vlogs the the new tradition that I want to include is three things that I am grateful for and at the moment I am really grateful for my health that I wasn't feeling well a week and a bit ago and I feel much 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 better and I think that gratitude for my health really reminds me especially or I feel more grateful for my health especially on days when I don't have it and when I come back and start to feel much better so that is my first thing my second thing is I'm so grateful for my son he is just the most wonderful little light in my life he is just so beautiful and so precious and I am so glad that he is my son and the third thing that I am grateful for today that I want to share with you is my mom and her continued support and help with myself and with my family our family and with Brannock and that she allows me to be able to work and do this job while having my son close by which is just i'm very very blessed that i get to do that and another one i'm very grateful for you guys because i just yeah you guys are so wonderful and thank you so much uh if you have made it to the end of the vlog please leave me three things that you're grateful for down in the comments and but if you if you don't want to share the things that you're grateful for just leave three hearts of any of your color choosing i know that people know that i love black hearts but you can choose whichever ones that you want and if you haven't subscribed please do so oh yeah and the info box is full of information about where i went and what i'm wearing and links if they're still available and I will be back very shortly with another vlog. I think I might do a couple in a week to catch up because I wasn't well last week. So I'm a little bit behind, but hopefully you guys won't mind. And I will talk to you all soon. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.